Hello boys and girls, Hosting here, and today we're going to be unboxing the MSA-003 Nemo Unicorn version, mass production, 144 scale. Originally I had a, already did an unboxing, but it was terrible, and I didn't delete it, so we'll go ahead and go through it all over again. Alright, and this is the bottom, you see a nice front and back pose of the mobile suit, and you get some little story all in Japanese. Nice little action pose, and then you get an animated picture. Then on the right side, you get the Nemo. It's 140th in this um, line. Then we look at the top. You get the nice little falling pose. Uh, pose of holding the sword and everything. Get looking all kinds of ways and showing you all the stuff you can do, and even the gun. For me, I'll probably use my action. Well, I'll probably have to order another action base. But I'll probably have it fall in this falling pose if it does right. If we don't do right, then I won't do it that way. But I mean, to me, that's the pose it did and looked badass in the show, and so that's the one I'm going to use. Alright, with this kit, you get four little bags, four bags of parts. Poly cap, you get the blue. You get all of these stickers. Oh boy, that's going to be some fun right there. The second bag you got is some more of the body, the, uh, some of the yellow parts. Some inner frame and the gun bag number three is some leg parts and some arm parts, different parts and stuff like that. And then C2, some more inner frame. And then you get the nice little mono eye for it. I mean, not the mono eye, but the visor for the mobile suit. Then we get into bag number four. This is the last and final bag. You have three little runners in here. You got the sword, you got the hands, and then you get the waist section. I see they're doing this a lot more with their kits nowadays. They're having the way you can cut these little parts off, which is nice. Some of them are best to keep them on, but some of them is fine to take them off. Alright, now here we are with the manual. Get a nice little pose of it standing straight up with the gun and the shield and all that. And I'm gonna well, warn you, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, this is one of those kits I did not like when I first saw it. I didn't like it in uh, Zeta Gundam, but in Unicorn, I liked it. It was just because of the color change, I guess. But in Unicorn, I liked it, so I, I, I guess it was just a color change, or in Unicorn, it looked a whole lot better than it did in um, Zeta. But anyway, go ahead and open up this book. You get some more pose. You get basically the scenes of where the Nemo was in. You got it jumping, then you got it shooting a gun. It shows you all the other stuff, and it shows you some more animation of it falling. And you see it going into battle with. I can't think of the name of that mobile suit so I'm not gonna bother with it. All I know is an old mobile suit. After I watched some of the um, Gundam stuff, apparently it's a very old like um, the Gundam, the original Gundam old and it's about old it is. Maybe older than that. Anyway. And down here at the bottom you get all these other little kits you can get. The um, GM command coal type I think. I have this one, I haven't got around to it's a uh, strike something other striker. You got the custom. You got the Jesta or Jigen. Jigen, sorry, I have that one too. The Jesta I had this one. I think when my nephews came in here and took it, because I can't find it nowhere. Uh, it was one of the kits that I was gonna do an unboxing review of a long time ago, but I, I can never find it now. The Zaku sniper, the Morsai, which is to me. Is a newer version of a guild dude. Just look at it. I mean, I, you got, I mean, everybody knows that. I hope everybody kind of knows that. Because if you look at all the characteristics and the way it looks, it looks a lot like a guild dude. So I say I would call it a modern modern day guild You know, in Gundam terms, you get this thing. Like I can't remember the name. The GM two and the GM three. Right. First page going into shows you the runners as usual. On this kit you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 runners. But anyway, that's enough of that. So with this kit, you're starting with the body. And then you do the backpack, and then you do the head. And then you start with the arms. Now this part right here is going to be a pain in the butt, getting all those stickers in that thresher right there. That's going to be a big, 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 big pain. Anyway, go ahead and get into the arms, putting it all completely together. And then you get to the feet, the legs, 
size and all that kind of stiff stiff and then you start making the waist and then you start putting the legs on the waist and then you start working with the swords and the shield and all that good stuff um, I'm gonna run into a few things that catches my eye and this is probably you know, some of the designs from this one are from the uh, GM Sniper 2, I think it is. And what I'm saying is, I mean, if anybody, everybody probably knows that, but like the leg thrusters and the backpack and the sword and everything is the exact same on the GM Custom. I'm mean, the GM Sniper 2, I'm sorry. But anyway, it shows you all your nice little mechanisms. It shows you the same thing that was on the box. It holding the sword and a gun. It falling with the gun. And then a back view. First runner we're gonna look at is runner A. You get the back part for the thrusters of the legs, the top of the body, the ankle guards, the feet, bottom and the middle of the feet, the back and the stomach, uh, the backpack and the shield, another part of the shield. Now we have runner A2. This is the front of the arm and the back of the arm, the sides of the swords. So you got two little pieces to put together to make the sword. It's kind of, meh. Anyway, I think it's to make the sword. Yeah, two pieces to make the sword. Like meh. I don't know what that part's for. The back of the waist, front of the waist, the side skirts, or well, the front skirts. I mean, here B1. I guess that's the ankle, the top part of the foot, the leg, the waist, the head, the front, and the back. Uh, some other parts and then we get runner B2 was this part of the runner right there now we're into runner C1 this is the inner frame of the body not really much to say you got hands the gun and a bunch of inner frame parts and there's the inner frame of the waist C2 which is this part of the runner right there runner, runner D don't know what that part goes to and these are the chest vents now we have runner E which is the visor or the head camera for a nice shade of green and here we go with two beam effect parts for both of the sabers and I guess the hands that came with it aren't good enough so they gave you some extra little hands to go along with the kit and our last little runner right here is the polycaps they're same old same old really never ever go over them uh, this is basically this part here will basically be for inside the body to where the arm can tilt in and out last but not least here are your little stickers oh boy this is kit of the year right here well if it wasn't an old kit that is but for my kit this is my kit of the year that's starting that's a little bit of the sarcasm i wouldn't put this kit of the year now, i would want to get the master grade of this kit now i would like to get the uh master grade of the kit the original one now mass grade, I, I like that one in master grade. Mass grade is fine. But high grade I don't like it. I didn't even like it on the show. But the master grade though looks pretty good. I'll get it and maybe paint it in a different color. Like I'm doing my Efreet Snide custom, that's what I'm calling it. And all there is is a snide and a custom put together to make a different one. Uh, if you see my Instagram or Twitter, you probably see me post pictures of how far I've gotten so far. I know it's been a while since I did the unboxing for that kit uh, you know it's kind of hard to get in the mood to want to paint it and put it all together but then a couple months now I've been in the mood to paint and put it together but anyway uh, on the same day I did this unboxing I did the unboxing for the GM um, also did an unboxing review of a, a Zeta head and the um, unboxing and review of the Ghiradoga it's all on the same day so if these video seems like I'm trying to rush through them. It's because of that I am. I'm trying to get content back up. I know I could probably go over some of the stuff that I have already that I've already put together. But I kind of want to put a kit together and go over it really. Then go over what I already have. But um, like I said, if putting these together goes by too slow then I might do reviews on other kits that I have or have already done. But anyway, after this one I, know I, haven't been, I haven't been really doing that in any of my videos, but after this one, well, after I got done doing this unboxing, I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Nero Zeal, Zeal, whatever, I don't, I don't know how you say it, it's the mobile suit that uh, Gato had, 
at the ending of um, 0083. But anyway, like I said, they might not be in this order that I unboxed them to myself, but you know, for y'all, they'll be in the order that I unboxed. Well, I mean, besides what you know that I unboxed. But anyway, I might just cut that part out of the video. If it is, well, then it is. But anyway, uh, leave a like if you like the video, and as always, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.